Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to install an SSD on a Lenovo M92P PC. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do in order to install our SSD inside of our Lenovo M92P PC is we're gonna first turn it over so we have access to the back here. This is where all of our ports are. So we're going to locate the one black headed screw that's holding everything in place and that's located right here. So we're gonna just unscrew this. It's a really short screw. so just a couple of turns and it comes right out. And now that's gonna enable us to open up this side panel here. So we're going to put pressure here and we're gonna actually slide it to the left. So you can see here, I'm able to just slide that panel and then you just kind of pick it up like so and we'll fully remove it. So looking inside of our PC here, we can see it's really compact. Everything is nicely laid out in here. And right here is our hard drive. So we're gonna actually remove this and we're going to install our SSD in its place. So we're gonna lift this up just to take a quicker view here. And you're gonna notice that the one connection is right here. So we can first disconnect this. We're just gonna kinda of wiggle it out and we can just kinda of set it aside. You don't wanna be um, real aggressive with this because you don't wanna you know, dislodge anything in here. So we're just going to detach it from the hard drive and just kinda of let it hang here. Um, you're gonna notice in here, there's a little pin right here and a little pin right here. So we're gonna take note of where those are and right up from there are our screws. So we have one screw here and one screw over there. So we're gonna to need to loosen those up. I have the screw from the outside still stuck to this. I'm just gonna remove that. So here I'm going to first do this screw here. Really makes it a lot easier if you have a magnetic tipped screwdriver like this. So then you, you know, don't have to worry about when you unthread the screw, it falling somewhere in here, it'll just magnetically stick right onto the uh, tip of your screwdriver. So I'm gonna do this other one now, remove that. So that is our two screws. So you're gonna notice that everything now has a lot more play in here. So again, taking note of those two pins that we pointed out just a couple seconds ago, we're going to just slide this down now and then we can lift it right up. Now it is still attached here. So we need to just follow this little cable here and we could just pull it right out of there. So the uh, attachment's right here and that's going to go right into this piece right here. So just make note of that. So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna notice that you have, if we flip this over, we have four screws right here. So we're going to unscrew those. and they're gonna have this little rubber gasket on them too. So uh, sometimes the rubber gasket will stay in there, sometimes it'll come out with a screw. Just be prepared in case it you know, comes off with a screw. You don't wanna lose it or have it hit the floor. Looks like this one's gonna, oh, no, it stayed in place. So once we get this last screw out, we're gonna be able to fully remove the hard drive here. And we'll just put that aside. In this case, it has Windows 10 on it. It's brand new, so um, I'm just going to keep it. And if I decide to ever go back to using this Lenovo M92P as a PC, um, instead of a gaming PC, then I'll reinstall that right back in. So here's our SSD just like this. We are going to now put that into place here. So you do need to remember where your connection was. So in this case, it sat in here just like so. The connection was down here. So we're going to line it up just like that again, flip it over, and you'll see that uh, it's hard to see here in this video. It's even hard to see in person, but the screw holes do line up there. I'll just remove it once again to show you. The holes are actually black, so you really can't see them because of these little gaskets here. So I'm just gonna set this down. I'm gonna grab one of these screws, put it on the tip of my screwdriver there, and I'm gonna just start that nice and slowly. So you might have to, the first one's always the uh, challenging one to uh, thread in there and get it in place. But once you get one in, everything else lines up. So I'm actually gonna switch over to this side. Seems like this one's lining up a little bit better for me. All right, so that one lined up. And again, once you get the first one, the rest of them should line up really nicely. So I like to work in diagonals. I usually get one in over here, and then I start down in this corner, 
just to make sure everything lines up perfectly before we start really cranking these down. And you don't have to go crazy tightening them. Um, just to tighten it until it feels tight. You don't have to overdo it. You don't want to strip anything. A lot of these SSPs, um, you know, they have plastic inside there. So if you really crank down on it, you could definitely strip it and then end up, you know, not being able to actually secure this to the bracket. So um, there we go. You're all set there. So again, we're going to need to make this connection. So I'm going to put it into place. It goes just like this. There we go. So that. Again, I'll show you just so you can see exactly how that connected. Connects right here, just like so. Just make sure that you don't yank this or anything like that. So now we're going to line up those pins. So you can see I'm gonna drop it down right on that pin there. Same thing over here on the left-hand side. Drop it down and then we're going to push the whole thing up that way. Just like so. And you'll push it as far as it can go. And once it's pushed as far as it can go, you're gonna notice that these holes here line up. So now we can just put those screws that we took off a couple minutes ago, right back in to secure the bracket inside this PC. That one looks good. That one's good. And now we can actually just slide this connection right into the end of our SSD. So just kind of feel around for it. And then we're going to just kind of rock it right into place like we did when we were uh, disconnecting the hard drive. So just like that goes right into place. We're going to put our side panel right back in here now. Just make sure when you line this up, you're going to notice down here there's a little opening. Just want to. That's what you want to kind of line this up with. So. I'm going to just line it up here. Then you can slide the whole thing down and just push it together like so. That's all we need to do. We're going to now just screw that last screw in on the back, that one black headed screw that secures this whole piece in. So it goes right like that. A couple turns because it's super short. And just like that, we've installed that SSD. So it's a really, really quick process. Um, you know, this is about um, about five minutes or so with me describing every step of this. You know, if you follow the video, obviously it'll take that long just because I'm taking my time walking you through every aspect of this. But if you were to do a couple of these, you'd get the hang of it. I can do this in about two minutes. So um, you definitely get used to it. And with the Lenovo M92P, this particular PC makes it super easy because it's really compact and there's really not a lot of moving parts inside of here. So that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, smash the like button. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different videos based around retro gaming and PC gaming. So definitely a lot of cool stuff to find on here. So definitely subscribe. And then of course, check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.